The Montini Broncos were poised for a deep run in the state playoffs after closing out their regular season with an 8-1 record. Those Broncos hit the postseason running, literally, as they put up double-digit wins over Evergreen Park, Driscoll, and Spring Valley Hall to advance to the 3A semifinals against a high-powered Pontiac Indian squad. And the Broncos gave it everything they had against Pontiac, led by their star, senior tailback Joe Highland, who had 35 carries for 251 yards and all four Broncos touchdowns. But the vulnerability to the pass and their inability to put pressure on Pontiac quarterback Reggie Kennedy sealed their fate. Pontiac scored the winning touchdown with under 30 seconds left in the game, capping off a thrilling 34-28 semifinal victory over Montini and a trip to the 3A state championship game. All right, so fast forward 18 years later, Montini hosting their bitter conference rival, Marion Central Catholic. Three minutes left in the first quarter. We're tied at seven. And Montini's John Rohde gets it to Joe Borsellino, who takes it in. Broncos take a 14-7 lead. They never look back. Second quarter, Montini up 21-3, and Rohde goes deep for Jordan Westerkamp, who finds pay dirt. Rohde threw for 434 yards, five touchdowns. Broncos ahead 28-13. And there he goes again to Westerkamp, who caught nine passes for 158 yards and four scores. Montini rolls 52-27. Just have special kids, and when we get on a roll and we're doing the right things, you know, those kinds of plays can happen for us. Uh, it's just a uh, very satisfying uh, feeling to put in the, the time and the work and to see our guys play so well. It's just, it's a great feeling. Six seed Montini and number one seed Caneland. Nine minutes left in the third Caneland ball. QB Drew David going up for Zach. Martinelli, and that's a touchdown there, 24-14, Kalen. Three minutes later, Montini running the Wildcat. Joe Barcelino into the end zone. Touchdown, Broncos. It's a three-point game. Under two minutes in the third is David on the keeper this time. Touchdown, 31-21, Kalen. Early fourth quarter, Montini handoff to Connor Gorrell. An impressive run to the left, 25 yards into the end zone there, 31-28. Back to a three-point game. Later in the fourth, Montini driving. Anthony Giafortune under pressure delivers a huge pass to Jordan Westerkamp at midfield. What a catch there. Nice play. Same drive. Giafortune looking for Westerkamp again, and they connect for the go ahead touchdown. The Broncos pull off the upset, beating Kalen 35 to 31. And these two teams are not strangers to each other. This year's 5A state title game will be a rematch of the 2009 Class 5A championship where Montini edged out Joliet Catholic in the game's final seconds to win 29-28. The Hilltoppers look to end Montini's reign as two-time defending state champions. How far do you anticipate Montini will travel this year in the playoffs? Actually, I've seen a lot of questions about Montini coming in through the chat. What do you guys think about them this year in the playoffs? How do you ignore a defending champion like that, three-time defending champion? They you know, have run through some injuries. Uh, they've got a chance to make a run, but this is not going to be an easy run for Montini this year. They will have to get, if they want to claim another state championship, they will have to get through Caneland, they'll have to get through Marion, they'll have to get through Morris. It, it is a tough road to go for the Broncos. Few teams play more uh, a more dominating schedule than Montini mm -hmm. does. They challenge themselves with the best competition that they can find, and sometimes that pays off this time of year. So it's always tough to discount their opportunities, but like you said, it's an absolute gauntlet that the field, the, a field that they have to run through. A 2011 5A state champion Montini Catholic facing Marion Central Catholic to the second half. Quarterback Mark Gorogiana standing at midfield, sneaking out of the pocket, down the middle and into the end zone for the Broncos. And that puts Montini in the lead 28-21. Two minutes left in the third. Gorogiannis in the red zone. He'll get through Marion Central traffic to score. 35-21 Broncos. Then in the fourth, the Hurricanes looking to answer quarterback Chris Strebler. The quick pass to Trent Fonts in the end zone and the Hurricanes trailing by eight. And just two minutes later, Gora Giannis again faking the handoff, finds the edge, running down the sideline to score. Montini wins it. 
42-27 the final. In 2011, Joliet Catholic suffered a heartbreaking defeat to Montini in the Class 5A state title game. Now one year later, the Hilltoppers were looking for revenge against the Broncos in the state semifinals. Midway through the opening quarter, JCA would strike first. Ty Isaac turned a fourth down run into a touchdown. Isaac would find the end zone again to start the second quarter, giving the Hillman an early 13-0 lead. Montini would respond as running back Dimitri Taylor used a powerful stiff arm to advance the ball, followed by an athletic spin move at the goal line, pulling the Broncos within six. And JCA's Craig Sloak took to the air to hit Chris Cheetah for a score, extending the lead to 21-7 after a successful two-point conversion. But on the very next drive, Taylor was at it again, this time scampering for an impressive 45-yard touchdown. And just as he had done before, Sloak would respond with a touchdown pass. This time to Jordan Jones, who give the Hilltoppers a 28-14 halftime lead. Joliet Catholic started the scoring in the third quarter with a field goal, extending their lead to 17. The clock was ticking, but Montini and senior Joe Borsellino would not fold. First, quarterback Alex Willis found Borsellino for a strike through the air. Then Borsellino would do it himself, taking a nine-yard scamper to the end zone for six, cutting the JCA lead to just four. On the next series, the Hilltoppers would fumble, and the Broncos recovered it at midfield, which is where Willis connected with Taylor on a screen pass that he would take the distance, giving Montini a 34-31 lead with eight minutes remaining. But Isaac and the Hilltoppers weren't done. The All-American running back finished off the drive with a 22-yard score, helped JCA regain the lead 37-34 with under five minutes to go. The Broncos drove down the field and found themselves one yard from pay dirt with only 30 seconds left in the game. Borsellino took the snap and leaped into the end zone, giving Montini a three-point lead. Joliet Catholic tried to move the ball into field goal range, but they would be unsuccessful. And ultimately, their season was ended by Montini for the second straight year. The Broncos edged the Hilltoppers 40-37 to to advance to their fourth consecutive state title game appearance. Welcome back. Three-time defending 5A champ Montini looking to make it four in a row as they face Morris. A 5A state title game down in Champaign. Chris Andriano would love to make it four in a row for his Broncos. Less than nine minutes left in the first quarter. No score. Montini handoff to Dimitri Taylor. Hurdles a man at 32. Still on his feet across midfield down the sideline. And it's a 74-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos are in front early. 7-0. Second quarter, more Taylor. Alexander Will finds him on third down. He catches it at the 30-yard line. And check this out. Taylor with a spin move at the 10. Taylor stays on his feet and dives across the goal line for his second touchdown of the game. 48-yard score made possible by that spin move. A hurdle at the five. And then the dive. Taylor ran for 165 yards and had 227 total yards in the game. Montini wins their fourth straight 5A title, 196, the final. Great game plan by our defensive coaches. Our D coordinator, Mike Bukowski, always does a great job. And, uh, you know, our kids on the defensive side of the ball, sometimes I think they take a little heat because the offense gets all of our credit. But the, those kids played a great game today. That was an awesome, awesome display defensively. And with Saturday's win, Montini head coach Chris Andriano entered some exclusive company. He joins coaching legends Frank Lenti, Gordon Gillespie, and Matt Senfer and Tim Racky as the only coaches in IHSA history to win four straight football titles. 